Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Facebook ads columns for 2023 so you can effectively scale and test with your Facebook ads. In this module, we're going to be covering all testing with Facebook ads. It's going to be a series of videos, so just stay tuned. This way, you'll know how to test your products with Facebook ads, how to set up your columns and everything else that goes along with testing. We're in the ads manager and we're going to set up our Facebook columns now. What we're going to do first is we're going to go into our columns over here where it says performance and we're going to customize these columns. Now, this is all stuff that we want to delete. So we're going to X out everything except delivery. So first you have delivery and then second, you want your attribution setting. Now next we do link and this is going to be an ad setting. After link, we're going to have your preview link. Then you're going to have your body at the ad settings and you're going to have your headline at the ad settings. And these are very helpful. Yeah. And I'll explain why each one of these is helpful at the end. So you get a good overview of everything and you actually know what they mean. Next, we're going to do budget followed by amount spent. Now type in purchase and we just want the conversion value. Value. So you're going to click this and we're going to untick these two boxes. So we only get the purchase conversion value and nothing else. Then we're going to do CPM. After that, we're going to do CTR all and we're going to do cost per unique link click. And then after that, we're just going to do unique link click. After that, we're going to do cost per ad to cart, but we're going to do unique cost. And the reason we do unique cost is so that we don't have one person adding 10 things to cart and then it gets counted as 10 times. If one person adds 10 things to cart, it would get counted as one time. And then we're going to do unique add to carts along with it. And then we're going to do the same thing for initiate checkout. We're going to do unique cost and then we're going to do unique checkouts initiated. And then we're going to type in purchase again. We're going to do cost per purchase. And then we're going to want the total purchases and we're going to untick these two boxes. And after that, you want your ROAS. You want to know how much you're making back on your ad spend. And we're going to untick this box. And after you have all of this, you're going to want to save it as a preset and type in Lord Ecom preset. I'm going to name it number two because I already have one. And then you're going to apply it and it's going to save all of these columns. Make sure you have this button checked or it's going to delete everything and then apply it. Okay, so now we have our columns done. It's in here. And what you want to do is you actually want to set this as default. So every time you open up your ads manager, it goes right to your columns. Now I want to explain these to you so you're not in the dark. So for your delivery, it's going to tell you if it's in draft, active, it's scheduling. The attribution setting is going to tell you if it's seven day click or one day view or whatever you target for your attribution setting. The budget, if we go into ad sets, it would be $10 daily. It's going to tell you how much it is a day for the amount spend. That's straightforward. Common sense. Purchase conversion value is going to tell you how much sales you're generating. CPM is going to be your cost per 1000 impressions. So 24 is pretty high. You want to look for 10. And ideally, if you can get to five while scaling, you're going to be extremely profitable. But people are profitable with 20, $30 CPMs. I've seen it happen. The more you spend on your ad account, the better quality creatives you run. CPM should drop along with targeting different interests and seeing what is the best one. We'll talk about it later in the course. And CTR is your click through rate. This is the percentage of how many people are clicking through. So if you have 100 people who see your ad and two of them click on it, you have a 2% click through rate. Cost per unique link click is how many unique viewers are clicking on your ad. So if you have 10 different people, you're going to have 10 unique link clicks, even if one of them clicks on your ad like 20 times. So same thing with cost per unique add to cart, unique add to cart, same thing with unique initiate checkouts. And then cost per purchase is straightforward purchases and your ROAS is your return on ad spend. So if I spend $1 on ads and I make $5 back from a purchase, I'm going to have a ROAS of five, meaning I'm getting $5 for every $1 I'm spending. And that's why my ROAS would be a five. So these are half of the columns. And then you're going to see in the ad level that you're going to have some additional columns. So you're going to have link ad settings, preview link, body ad settings, headline ad settings. And mainly these four are going to show you info about your ad, like the URL you're using on your ad. It's going to show you the ad copy you're using for your ad. It's going to show you the headline you're using for your ad. And it's a quick way to access what you're running on different ads. And once you get like hundreds of ads, thousands of ads, this becomes very valuable and useful. So you don't waste your time as a media buyer. Now, one of the final things I want to say, if you want to start scale and crush your Facebook ads with a one-on-one -on -one mentor following a proven system, just click the link down below. One of my students went through the program and she just recently finished it. Now she's making 6K a day with her store. So it is really beneficial and it's a proven system that you can follow. So you're not shooting in the dark. You know exactly what step to follow step by step straightforward process. I also have some action items for you guys. First, I want you to create your Facebook ads columns in ads manager and then just save your columns as a preset. And it's going to be called Lord Ecom preset and then set the preset to default. So anytime you go in your ads manager, it just loads up and saves you a little bit of time. So guys like this video, if it helped you out, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be dropping way more Facebook testing videos and show you how to actually
successfully generate sales, how to test correctly and find winners, and then you can scale those winners. So if you didn't already, we have a Skype group too. Lots of value in there. You can find it in the link below completely free. Guys, love you. And I hope you have a great day. I hope this helps you out. I'll see you in the next video.